You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Thanks for stopping by today. Excited to check out the next candy kit in my Japanese candy series. I've shown this kit in a previous video. There are one or two more after this that I had shown, so I will get to them as quickly as possible. This one here is made by this company. I've always said my gum, but it could be my goom or me goom. I'm not sure. Regardless, I'm here to make the kit. You know, I've pondered on the linguistics of different words and I just can't get too involved with that. Either way, I'm making one, two, three, four, five different candy shapes here and uh, I've seen another version of this kit same packaging but different shapes and different candy so don't get those two confused all right lots of color codes here and it's important to realize that these color codes translate back here on the, oh well, let me show you this it's there's nutritional facts it says soft candy product of Japan and of course lots of little information here the steps go all the way here and to this section now i have translated this and study this i have to to really understand it i did not get this printed out in english instructions but visually i know i'm starting here fill the heart side of the tray with water mix it and you're just going to leave it because you don't use that till this spot here and this spot here and then you do this one in a separate little bag that they provide fill the four compartments fill the fish put a brown piece in there put another layer on top of that do this step this step this step is interesting here because you're making these ball shapes so you're taking this ball basically dividing it up into threes and then you're going to keep the two here but take this one divide that up in twos and then have those two keep one of them and divide that last one up into threes and then they're going to be used throughout the rest of the process all right let's just at least see what's in the kit that is my first step now you'll notice i usually always cut the bags like this so one i don't cut any of my instructions and two i can save the bag i might just cut the instructions out and lay them down that might be easier okay so here's that bag filled well it has the mixing fork it has an extra bag that's what you're going to mix the one step in uh mixing flat spatula i guess you'd call it here's tray number one okay so you have this bigger packet here i will always go back and sort these out and organize them better okay and then this one so there's my packets and then here is my second tray look for the heart heart is step number one so i'll be using that and it probably stays in there till you need it so i won't be washing the tray as much and i think that's about it i am ready to go i'm going to cut these out and i will come back with some water and we will step one this i will organize it better so we all have a better look at all the pieces to my little puzzle and then look at that now this is much easier for me to read and double up on the translation if i want to okay here we go excited let's begin okay here we go everything's organized in order that i need to put them in the trays and make each ingredient step and then i have some scissors some plates my water step number one is the brown powder so i am going to now put enough water in to fill the heart section to the first line now you will see it in there even here there let me get my finger in there so it's right about there just a little bit of the bottom all the sections have two layers here we go i'm gonna do it this way so there's less chance of me spilling and it almost looks like one of these is about the amount with a few extra drops now your angle might be different so if you say you didn't put too much you didn't put enough in it could just be the angle of the camera here we go packet number one I'm just going to cut the whole top off. I think it'll be easier and there's less of a chance for something getting stuck in there. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? I am ready. And I know people are probably saying, boy, this guy makes long videos. Yeah, I, don't, I just still can't break from my way of doing things.
uh, a little bit more. Well, it looks like I didn't cut all the way through, believe it or not, even though I cut straight across, unless it fused together. There we go. Okay. Yeah, too, I, I just leave the mixing in because I'm talking. I know you see a lot of these videos, there's zero talking. So, and lots of editing. All of a sudden, this will meld into a completely mixed state. So, I don't do that. Never have. Never will. I think it's important to kind of see how long it really takes to get to what they're showing in that video. And you don't see this, that it's all stuck. So let me just use my finger. I'm going to get another couple mixing devices here so I have it. Oops, let's get that back in there. It's actually almost like a fudge consistency. And it mixed pretty easy, so it's going to stay like that. But since I'm going to use this container, I'm going to take this now and move it to one of my additional plates. So that I can use it later. Okay, I think that's it for step one. Now you see the consistency of that. Let's move on now. I will come back and start step two. Okay, so now I'm going to be using both trays. One is going to hold my water in this section here, so I'll put that off to the side. And then I'm going to actually mix it in this bag and then fill up the fish and these four diamond areas, they show you that clearly in the instructions. First thing they say is to cut your bag and put it in the other bag, then do the water. So, here we go. Okay, and then let me get my little watering tool. I'll fill up this. It'll kind of give me an idea how many of these will actually fill this. I do not see a lower line, so you just go to the top of this section. And you don't want it to bulge over, you want it nice and level. Okay, then they say put that in there, mix it, cut it, and squish it. Now you have to move quick here because this will set up on you. I want you to do the fish first, and then you're gonna mix a little and flatten it. It says flatten it in your palms. Okay, so they want you to make a flat piece that's gonna sit. It's already starting to set, so now we will move this here off to one side. Cut the tip. Okay, fill half the fish, which I will do now. Okay. All right, now it looks like it needs to set a little bit more. So I'm gonna see if I can fill one of these. I need enough to cover the top of your fish. Okay, then you take a little bit of this and you flatten it into a little disc. Place that on here. Okay, and then you gotta fill the top. That's why I saved some of this. Okay, and then I have a little bit extra now to fill up one of my little squares better. So you have to be careful on this step not to. Use too much in these little squares before you get your fish set. Okay, that's it there. So now I will move on to the next step. All right, next is the little strawberries. There are four of them and then two little flowers. They don't actually show you fill those, so I think they might be bonus ones. But first, we go to the music section. That's what we're on, the music section. It's a little music note in there. This is already set up, by the way, so let's just... Fill this up to the line. It's the bottom line. Remember that. 
Now I have to hold this tray up because it's wanting to lean towards my other creation. There we go. Let's just see. I'm looking from the side. I think that's pretty good. All right. I found another little mixing spoon in case I need it for this stuff. Here we go. This should turn a nice pinkish, reddish color. Let me move this here, this here. All right, next step. Yeah, look at that nice pinkish hue. So it's another doughy like consistency that we're trying to turn into little gummy strawberries. Ooh, almost went into my fish. A tiny, tiny bit did, but that's why you got to go real slow. They haven't shown me pulling that out yet. It's actually later they show it. I know it's interesting to watch the videos where they all of a sudden have this huge mess and then it turns into a beautiful looking mix. Of course, that is all done off camera. So you will get the same situation I'm in where there's a lot of powder sticking to your measuring to I mean your mixing tool sometimes it does help just to press as opposed to mix And then keep going until you get it to where you think it's workable enough to fill the little strawberry. here now and see if I can get that a little bit better basically it's cleaning up my tray all right let's move this to one of my other little plates okay so now you need four for the strawberries Let's just see if we chop it. One, two, three, four. A little bit extra. Let's see how this shapes in here. Plus, you don't see what's left over. See, look at that. That's too big. I'm going to have some left over. So probably why they give you that option to... I'm going to leave it a little rounded so it has a nice rounded feel to it like a strawberry would. I'll clean up these edges. And uh, trust me when I say I'm not knocking those other video styles. It's just a different style. So people who do like that style will come to the videos that I make and voice their opinion, which is fine. But those of you who watch and have watched my videos for years and years and years and who still support me in the comments, when someone comes in and says something mean, I know some of you will stick up for me. Just be nice. flip it okay feeling good I always do try to keep a nice clean work surface too
All right, and I'll do the little flowers just so I have a little extra. I might even, if there's any green, I might do those in the green. See what's left? So you know, if you have extra, don't worry about it. You didn't do anything wrong. All right, let's move on now to the next step. There we go. Okay, here we go. The next step is the green packet. Now that is back to the music notes section and fill that up with water. It looks like everything's working out pretty good. No matter how it turns out, just have fun. Enjoy what you're doing. Make different shapes if you want. You do not have to do it exactly like I'm doing it or try to achieve those ultimate results because that's not always that's not always fun when you're just having want to have fun, right? Okay, so now now this is going to be mixed up and I will need enough to go into here and then enough to go into here. So after I get this poured in, I'll get enough to mix that and then that. So it's probably close to half, we will see. It's a nice green color. Not bad coming into St. Patrick's Day, I guess. And this will also be very dough-like. So far, a kit like this with so many steps, you get a little apprehensive, a little worried, a little nervous. I've done probably 70 kits and I still get a little, hmm, am I doing this right? Let me double check those instructions. Let me retranslate it. Let me make sure, only because I want to show it the best possible way. I'm going to move it to another little plate so I can... So it's just easier to mix and do outside of this little compartment. Okay, I did clean the little tray out before I went to this step. Here we go. So you need it now, and then they actually don't show you doing this step till after the next step. Just so you know, for your information, it should just sit off to the side. Carefully, carefully we will turn those over. Okay, looks like these two on this edge need a little bit more pressing in. Okay, there we go. All right, the next step is the white powder to make the little white balls. All right, so this goes with my collection of stuff that I have made. It almost, well, it actually looks pretty colorful up there, doesn't it? All right, let's move on to the next step. All right, the star section now. That takes the most water, it looks like. I'm going to have to do this in a couple little squeezes here. That's two. And plus two, the tray doesn't sit flat, and it's a little rounded on the bottom. So don't be deceived by that. Make sure you hold your tray up as level as possible. 
and squish it down just a little. Right about there, okay. The biggest packet and the last one, so. I have my little plate ready for the little white Here we go. Another spoon. I would definitely suggest having a backup mixing tool with you so you can do that scraping. Ooh, I dropped a little bit on my fish. They really should just have you take that out. I didn't maybe, maybe you were supposed to take it out, but they show it later taking it out, so. Okay, I think that is pretty close. I'm gonna just push it up here and see if I can shape it to a size where I can cut into thirds. Because the, for here, let me do this. I'm gonna come right back. I'm gonna get a little bit bigger plate here, roll this out and cut this a little more accurately. All right, here we go. Let's make some room so we can see what's going on here. So you first need to get this into a third. Of course, wash your hands before you get started. There you go. So now we have three. Okay, so leave those two. Take this one and cut this in half. And take this one and cut this ooh, nice little happy face into thirds. Now the first one actually is one of them's gonna be pressed, so I'm going to get it ready now and make a nice shape before it sets up too much. Okay, that's a good starting point. All right, now let's move on now. The next step is green into this. And it's gonna be flat. Let's start with some of it. They show your finger pressing. I might need it all. Yeah, I think they have it 
scale just right. up something try this I think this will be easier yeah not as sticky to your finger but Okay, not bad. Now, the color coding says you want to take this one and now flatten this one out. close here. And I need to get another little plate and move on to the next step of this one. I kind of went right into this without much prep. But I think we have it now. Okay. There we go. All right, I'm going to need this. Here, you know what? I have a plate off to the side. Let me use this here. Now I need six mini brown-shaped peas, we'll call them. Little mini peas. And they probably need to be pretty small for them to fit in the roll. has dried up a little sitting here so you probably need to work a little faster than me I'm just kind of forming them two four six yes Ooh. I don't even know if that's too big. All right, so now you need to open this up or get this out of here. See the layer? Yeah, those are tiny. I think half of these is all that's going to take. Okay. any bigger and they are not gonna sit in there this one looks to be okay and roll that over and then two on the end so if you're making this make them really tiny there we go okay so there is number one all right let me regroup here come back and build the rest of them all right pretty exciting so now the next step now i did see on the packaging they were all on individual little plates so i don't have the exact shapes here but i thought well let me bring in some of my collection here 
So now the next one was this one that I started here. I will put that on this one. Actually, you know what? I'm going to put it on one that's got a little more color to it. Okay, and then I took this and I just dipped my finger in a little bit of water just to kind of reconstitute it. It might have sat. Now they want this into another flat disc. And then I noticed on the strawberries, they're connecting them. So you didn't have to make them as puffy as I do, or I did. But now you take and you connect two. Still works out okay. Actually, I'm going to cut the back off of mine just a little. Off of the one. And connect it to my puffy one. There we go. And then this just sits right on top. Ooh, and it matches. Okay, so there's number two. And then the next one is these. I'm going to do this one on the wood plate. Okay, so that one is set. And then this one is the little jelly-like cubes. They're kind of in a stack. Okay, the last one. And then another brown circle piece right in the middle. Let's move center this a little bit more. Okay. And this one is more circle shape. And I'm going to leave these strawberries the way I had them because they are flat. Okay, I need to wash my fingers. All right, that is that one. Now the next one, now you take the bigger one of these, okay? And then you take another round little brown circle and you fold it inside this. And you crimp it over. Okay. And then you take your green, looks like a cabbage leaf, doesn't it? And you fold it over the outside of this. Okay, that's a pretty plate for that one. Would you agree? Okay. And then... Oh, there's a second one here. Look, I didn't notice that. Three, it's the three little balls go on the outside of this one here. So I didn't see that. Kind of want them all right there. Strawberry there. Okay, now... I think I have it all except for my fish. Oh, cool. Okay, that's good there. I'm gonna I'm gonna straighten it up just a little so we can get the best presentation and come back, show them to you one more time, and give them a taste. All right, so there you go. You see one, two, three, four, five special plates with their little food on them. I think that came out pretty good. I'm happy with that. I added my little flowers. They showed them on the instructions here. I did not translate that. And I think the only thing I did was I made my strawberries a little puffy on the back. So you don't have to do that. You can 
make them a little flatter, but other than that, I'd say it came out pretty good. I have this as leftover. So now I can actually taste this as their own items, and then I have taken pictures, so I can make a nice thumbnail. Here we go. This is the pink part of the candy kit. Strawberry flavored. It's very spongy, like a soft marshmallow type gummy. Here is the chocolate part now. Chocolate. Hmm. Interesting. Not really chocolate flavored. Almost a savory flavor. I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to be. Now let me try one of these so I can get a taste of this. Mmm, that one's good. Like a little cola flavor. Okay. Very soft jelly-like consistency. And then the last one would be a piece of this green, which I have not tried. Here we go. The green. Mmm. Okay. That is tea flavored. Green tea flavored. Interesting. I do think I want to eat a whole one. So let me grab an eating implement. Okay, here we go. So let's pretend now. Now I can really pretend. I've tasted it all. I'm going to eat my first one. Here we go. Very interesting with the green tea flavor. Mmm. Let's try this one. I might as well enjoy them. I took the time to make them. Overall, imagine eating like a overdone pasta noodle. That's kind of what it reminds me of as far as texture. I'm going to eat the fish. Say goodbye to my little fish. Oh, that's squishy and gushy. Very interesting. That's kind of cola flavored. Ramen, that is. Kind of like a 7-Up kind of refreshing flavor. My cabbage roll. That's a big piece. All right. Last but not least, I've had all these separate. I'll gather as much as I can. Say thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. You've probably never seen anybody eat the whole set on video. Maybe you have. I don't know. Let me know. Hmm. There we go. Later. If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a Lucky Penny, pick it up.